Kingston is fairly unique because it represents probably the last of this type of land uh, that's around in Tasmania. Quite a large proportion of it is still in its pre-European state virtually unique now and it's a place that we want to look after. Sometimes you're going to be pretty skillful <laughs> to achieve that, but yeah. We want people that don't know about wool to buy wool because it is a fabulous product. I mean yes it helps support our business but it's such a fabulous product and you're missing out on something fantastic if you don't wear it. I really think we need figures and facts to back up what we're doing and it also shows you if something's going really well but it also shows you if something's going really badly. We can show people straight up that's the figures, this is what these animals do and this is what their micron is and you know this is all the treatments I've done to this animal. I mean there's a, there's a dream that someone's going to actually want to come back and see where the wolves actually come from, not just through the auction system of that we've bought so many bales from that farm, but that those bales were filled by that particular lot of sheep. That would be an ultimate goal if that people can come and have a look and go, well, wow, I've got something made from, from that lot of sheep or from, you know, it's from this country. It's, it's, it would be an ultimate dream to have that come true. We're not just selling wool. We're selling the way it's produced, the way we, we look after our sheep and the way we look after the land that wool is produced from. Because, you know, we pride ourselves on the fact that we, we care about our animals and we care about our environment and it doesn't really matter which animal it is I'm dealing with, whether it's my dogs or my, my sheep or cows or whatever. I just think every animal has the right to be treated in the best possible manner. And even more so, if you're using an animal to make a living from, well, you need to, to use everything you can in your power to make sure that animal's well cared for. Um, it has the right to be cared for. Wool's always graded up before it's offered up for sale you know, on the auction floor. So, and it used to be they used to work in in letters. A P was the top wool, and then all of a sudden, some people started producing this even better stuff. And they went, "What are we, you know, like, what are we going to do here? We've got to set this apart from everything else." So they put one PP, and that's simply how it has come about. That meant it was the absolute top of the range. I think last year that 40 bales in the whole Australian clip uh, were certified. Out of that, two of those came from Kingston. To demonstrate that we can produce that level of wool, even though the rewards for doing it aren't that great, it just shows people what the country is capable of uh, and what the sheep that Lindell has bred here uh, are now capable of achieving.